Hello everybody, it's Rick with Stumps, and I'm here today playing a brand new game that's in early access called Jalopy. And in this game, we're going to build a cart and we're going to drive it across the uh, Eastern German Republic, I suppose. And I'm going to do the tutorial, but we're just going to try to skip through this thing as quick as possible, because the tutorial really is just going to be teaching us how to build our car. Wake up! Wake up! Ah, wake, finally. Hmm, stay in bed any longer, and the day will make fools of us both. All right, I'm, uh, I'm awake now. Come now, I have something important to show you. All right, cool. Uh, I've got a really nice place here, as you can see. I've got, a, I've got a sheet dividing my room from whatever's behind the sheet. Come, come, it's just outside, okay. All right, this man with a very snazzy jacket who walks very slowly, and I'm assuming is barefoot is going to show me where to go? It looks like he's barefoot to me. Those do not look like shoes. Man, you need some shoes. Ah! This must be our jalopy. Here, this here is a Leica 601 Deluxe. Something of an engineering legend in the GDR. Uh, yeah, I, I should say. <laughs> 0 to 60 kilometers in 22.5 seconds. A top speed of 100 kilometers an hour. All the economical rate of 9 kilometers per liter. That is, if we can get her running. Not to worry. I have everything ready. We'll just need to build her an engine. Slap on some wheels, fit the passenger side door, and give her a bit of clean. So, let's get started. Fit the replacement door. It's over on the top of the scrap pile behind you. Okay. If you squint, you'll be able to see it. Let's see. So... Ah, there it is. I see it. I'm squinting. All right, let's get to the top of the scrap pile. And there's no jump in this game. I, I've tried. Or at least if there is, it's not the space bar like every other game in the world. So I'm assuming there's no jumping in this game. Okay, I've got the door. Let's put the door on. Haha, <laughs> less than elegant, but it's on. That it is. Right, now let's fit the engine. Okay. If you open the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that and release the bonnet. All right. It's so adorable. It calls it a bonnet. I know you people in Europe and England, you guys call it bonnets, but we do not. In the United States, in the good old US of A, we call it a hood. That's it. You've got it. Now, open the bonnet, and we can walk you through this. All right. There we go. Bonnet's open, and as you can see, she needs an engine, amongst other things. I've got a load of stock parts sat in the garage. Go collect one, and I'll walk through what it does. All right. Let's go get the stock parts. Here we go. So here's the stock parts. We've got a carburetor, we've got a water tank, ignition coil, yeah, I know where they are, man, I'm looking at them right now, jeez, a battery, a stock air filter, fuel tank, and, of course, the engine, and now, I played through the tutorial already, and I did learn that you can pick up more than one thing at a time, which is, I think you can pick up to, to three, which is definitely advisable, because I was picking up one by one last time, and it took a while. Right, that's a carburetor, which controls the fuel consumption of the car, which in turn controls how many kilometers per liter you'll get out of the Leica. So let's go ahead and put that in. A good, well-maintained carburetor will mean you use less fuel and can drive further for cheaper. Go ahead, drop it in the engine. All right, there we go. And the water tank, which provides water to help keep your windscreen clean from dirt. Keep it in good condition, or it'll start to leak water, and you'll soon find yourself driving without any vision. Go ahead, drop it in. There we go, dropped in. And we've got the ignition coil, which channels an electrical charge to start the engine. An ignition coil that's in bad condition may struggle to start the engine. And drop that one in. So you guys are also getting sort of a uh, crash course in how cars work, too. Though this is sort of a simplified version of that, uh, it's, it's kind of cool. You're, you're learning a little bit of something, too, in this game. Okay, I've got a battery, I've got an engine, and I've got something else. Let's see. Battery provides electric charge for the Leica. Yeah, we know that. The battery allows you to use lights, the radio, the car ignition, that kind of thing. If your Leica won't start, the first place to check is the battery. Go ahead, drop it in the engine. All right. Dropped in. That's the engine block you've got in there, the core of your Leica setup. The engine block defines core performance for Leica, including top speed and acceleration. A poorly kept engine block will mean your Leica will struggle to perform. Drop that one in right there. And lastly, I've got the air filter, a non-essential component. 
It's uh, not necessarily required to run the Leica, but it's a good idea to have one as it will reduce the rate of wear to your engine block. Oh, okay, good. That's good to know. So I don't need to have an air filter, but it'll help prevent the Leica from breaking down. So it's probably a good idea to have one. I mean, if I've got one, we may as well use it, right? And the last component for the engine is the fuel tank. That big lump of metal is the fuel tank, which holds the fuel for your Leica. A few notes on this one. First of all, it's gravity fed, so you'll need to open the bonnet and fill it directly to the tank when refueling. Also, your Leica is running a two-stroke engine, which means you'll want to mix in some oil to the fuel mixture. Failure to mix oil into the fuel will mean the engine won't be lubricated and will wear at an increased rate. Too much oil, though, and you'll start to see performance drops. Oh, keep your fuel tank well-maintained and let it uh, get beat up, and it will start leaking fuel everywhere. Oh, no. So there's two types of engines, a two-stroke and a four-stroke. So this appears to be a two-stroke. Now to fill her up. Okay, go get the fuel. So as I was saying, speaking of fuel, two-stroke is like what your lawnmower uses, all right? Which needs a fuel and oil mixture, which is interesting, which basically means that what we're running here is basically a lawnmower engine. And then you've got your four-stroke, which is a normal car's engine, which just uses fuel. Good, that uh, fuel can you're holding there, so we're going to go ahead and fuel this thing up. So I just have to click on this and I hold it in order to fuel it up all the way. And you can see that fuel. There we go. It's full now. Now we can drop this. Just drop it by the wayside there. And I've got a water bottle as well. Which we're going to use on the water tank. And as you can see, this must be a bug because they don't have a skin for the water tank or whatever. But it seems to be sort of just invisible at the moment. There we go, and it's not quite full there. There we go, now it's full. Drop the water over here. And now, that's a bottle of two-stroke oil in your hands. You'll want to add a drop of it to improve the fuel mixture, which affects things like performance and engine wear. All right, so this is exactly what he was talking about just a moment ago. We need to mix oil and fuel. Try using it on the fuel tank. All right. And he said just a drop, so there we go. Just a drop. Go ahead and drop that if you're done. I am done. I feel like that was enough oil. Now let's move on to the tires. Let's get a go about getting some tires in the car. As you can see, we won't get very far without wheels. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. And I'm going to pick up the tire iron first, all right? And I'm going to go jack the car up. And everything's got a sell and buy price on here as well. So I'm imagining that we're going to have to eventually start buying parts for the car. But right now, apparently all these parts are free. All right, so this is jacked up, and I've got a tire iron in my hand, but I'm going to drop it right now. And I'll let you know why in just a moment. As I said, I did play through the tutorial, so I know how to build the car. And I know how to do it efficiently. Now, I was doing this one at a time, but I think the most efficient way to do this is to fit a tire on there. Then I'm going to go ahead and fit another tire on this side. There we go. This tire I'm going to drop on this side. So I was doing this one by one, and it was taking forever. So it's best just to put both tires on at the same time, come over here, tighten them with the uh, wrench there. Now we'll drop the wrench, which when you drop it, it goes straight to the jack, which is kind of cool. And then we're gonna, we, we gonna, we're, what am I saying? We're gonna, I can't, I can't say words right now. We are going to take this jack and move it over to this side. And we'll just go ahead and jack that up. And I'm just ignoring what he says because he's telling me what I already know. He's saying, like, drop the jack now and do the thing and put the tires on. Yes, I, I know. And lastly, the last tire that we have over here, we're going to slap on this side here. All right, now it's starting to look like a car. Grab the tire iron. Tighten those bolts in. Bundaba, success. We have uh, got the tires on, and he's going to be in the car, and he wants me to go get any spare things that are sitting around the shop and load them into the trunk. So the first spare thing that we're going to take is the jack, because if this thing breaks down, we're going to need to uh, be able to swap tires or whatnot. And over here we've got, looks like a toolbox. It would be a good idea to have this toolbox here. And I didn't do this last time I played this tutorial, but I'm going to try this time because he had mentioned something about washing the car. 
and there is a bucket over here, and I'm wondering if we can use this bucket to wash the car. So let's go ahead and take the bucket. Let's see here. Can I use it on the car? That's the question. Oh, sorry, man. Didn't mean to... Here, there you go. I'll give you your privacy. I don't know what that's doing. I seem to be just rocking, rocking the car. If this car's a rockin', don't come a washin'. Okay, I guess I can't, uh... Use that. I thought I could maybe wash the car, but we'll just keep that bucket in there just in case we need it later. And I think we're ready to roll. Okay, before we set off, let's get you familiar with some important companions. Here we have a maintenance manual. It will cover the basics of your car running. Cool. Thank you. In there, you'll find information regarding a basic overview of the Leica vehicle, details on your current engine setup, listings of the cargo we're currently carrying, that sort of thing. You can turn the page by selecting the top corners of each page, like this. All right. We'll have a look through this later. For now, go ahead and drop that. Okay, fine. Next, you'll need a map. You're going to give me that too, aren't you? Yeah, snazzy jacket man. Give me that map. This one is important as it allows you to select which route you'll be taking between each destination. All right. As you can see, our first destination is the CSFR border crossing near Dresden. And I've marked all the potential routes I know of, including weather conditions, and any stop-off points along the route. Go ahead and select one now. So we've got... Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah! I guess that's the best route, though, right? Because it says sunny in 210 miles. Once a route is selected, we're committed to driving it. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to click that, but I'm hoping that's a good route. And again, you can turn the page by selecting the top corners. Okay, so... Um, can I change it? I guess I can't. Okay, so we're committed to this route. But I feel like it's a good route. It doesn't have gas, but it is sunny. So you can have a look through that later. Go ahead and close that. For, he keeps telling me to turn pages, and he's like, you know what? <laughs> Don't turn those pages. Finally, the keys. Okay. I've got the keys. Just pop them in the ignition, and she's all yours. Okay, so popped in the ignition. Crank that. Yes. Probably need to close the door. There we go. And I think grab the steering wheel. Okay, and it's just wads from here on out. So we're off. We're driving. Just me and Snazzy Jacket Man. Now, I don't know who Snazzy Jacket Man is. Head towards Dresden. We'll be traveling the Autobahns for this part. This should give you a chance to get to grips with the Leica. Okay. It's like I'm saying, I don't know who Snazzy Jacket Man is. I don't know if he's my father, my grandfather, just a really good friend. Maybe he's my boss at the shop. Maybe we'll find out later. But in the meantime, we're just going to be driving through this tunnel. Nice and easy now. Okay. Oh, there's a door. Can I get out and check out what that door is? I'm just curious. Hold on, old man. There's a door here. And it's, uh, it's got me wondering. Turn off the car. You stay here. I gotta go check out this door. Hello? Let me in. Alright, well, there's nothing at that door at the moment. What? I thought somebody opened. They didn't. Okay, so, I can't open the door. I, I would have never forgiven myself, though, if I didn't check. Okay, we're back on the road. So from this point on, it's like a, it's kind of like a driving sim. Only we're going to explore the countryside of the German Democratic Republic via 1990. And I don't know what these things are hanging from the ceiling. They look like oil drums, but I, I can't quite tell what they are. Oh, here we go. Now we've got a view of the countryside. Very pretty. With a statue of a tank over there. Oh, and it looks like there's uh, some traffic at the roundabout. Okay, time to slow down. What have they got on the back of their cars? What are those? There's weird little gray things. I guess that's just their, uh... Their tailpipe, I guess? Oh, come on, guys. Do I have a horn? No, I don't. At least if I do, I don't know where it is.
All right, there we go. Now we're moving. Oh, taking a wide turn. Get back on the road, man. So I'll go through our journey a little with you. We're heading towards Dresden, so we can cross the border into- Whoa! Oh, penalty! Ah, what? So I'll go through- Okay, yes, we're heading to Dresden. Okay, great. Got a penalty for hitting out of the car. This is just great. Cross the border into the Czechoslovak Soviet's Republic. No, wait, that's not right. Didn't they change the name recently? What was it? Oh, man. That penalty thing is gonna haunt me. It's just staring me down. That car stopped way too quick. Guess I shouldn't be tailgating like that. Alright, this game's gonna be harder than I thought. And I've already used a... Whoa! What is with the braking, guys? Come on! Let's get this party going! I've got places to be, and I'm... Almost halfway through my tank of gas now. I'm gonna need to find some gas soon. Ah, uh, that was it. The Czech and Slovak Federative Republic. 40 years now... Did somebody just... I didn't hit... No! They hit me! Now I've got 20 penalty. Great. Yeah, okay. I'm too busy reading what this jagov is saying, and I'm, I'm crashing into things, and things are crashing into me. Okay. I, I want to read what he's saying right now, but I'm afraid. But oh, what is this? There's something on the side of the road. It's a box. Stop hitting me! Fucking jerks! Oh, God. Okay. Jerks keep hitting me. I, I, want, I want to check out this box, though. Come on. If this box isn't worth it, I'm going to be pissed off. That time somebody hit me. Come on. That wasn't my fault. What's in the box? Okay, I've got a box. Pop the trunk. So, did you just hit me again? You people need to slow down. I'm a man with a box. I'm doing important box things. Do you keep hitting me? Oh my god. Can I open your car? You're lucky I can't open your car, you jerk. Alright, I guess I can't do anything with that box because there's no room in my freaking car. I wonder if I'm not in the car if I... Okay, it didn't seem like I collected penalties while I wasn't in the car. Yeah, just hold your horses, man. We're going. Holy moly. So the old man says, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa! These cars came out of nowhere! Yeah, I'm just gonna... Try to cut through all the traffic here. These people are honking at me because they're pissed. They're like, hey! Stop cutting us off! Deal with it, chumps. There's the town. We should head straight for the motel and get a room for the night. Alright, um... Oh, man, it is getting really dark out. The moon keeps popping in and out of existence. Look at... There's a moon? No moon. Moon? No moon. So is this traffic just going to be like this? Is it going to be super crappy? I... Come on. Come on. Get a move on. We're going to give this one more try. It seemed like that traffic wasn't going anywhere, and I think that that was a bug. And I did read that there are some bugs in this game. So I'm going to attribute that to being a bug. And we're going to try this one more time. And before we get started, I'm just going to make sure that everything is in its proper place, right? We have our tools. We have our bucket. We have our jack there. And I think I'm just going to make sure that this thing is fueled up and everything as well. Oh, I, that's right. I need to actually pop the hood, don't I? There we go. Or the bonnet, in this case. I need to pop the bonnet. Whoa, why is it smoking so bad? Hmm. Um. Stock air filter. Looks like it needs it needs a tune-up. Okay, let's drop all this stuff. And let's go back to our trunk. Or our boot, in this case. If that's going to be the bonnet, then this is going to have to be the boot. And now let's get to work here. Got to repair you. There we go. Just a little tune-up here. And it says I need fuel as well. Wait, is... Ah, there we go. No more smoke. That's good. And it wants fuel, so I'll give it some fuel. Wait. I think that I've used up my toolbox. I think that... Oh, well, that that's kind of crummy. Is there another toolbox? I think there is. 
Okay, good. There is. So, the toolbox is finite, and we just found that out. You can use up all of the toolbox. So, it's good to have a backup. And we're going to fuel it up as well. Hold on. There we go. Let's fuel you up. Let's top you all the way off. Okay, there we go. That's all she can take. And we're going to need a dollop of oil. There we go. And windshield wiper fluid should still be good. Whoop, I'm going to need to close you. All right, now we're underway again. But before we leave, I'm going to need to pick another route, I believe. So let's grab the map. And how are we going to go this way? Let's see. We've got a route that is 210 kilometers in all sun. We've got 350 kilometers on both accounts for the uh, both route 1 and 3. And those both have sun as well. I feel like we should take one of the 350 routes... Because it has gas. What do you say? I'm going to go one of the gas routes. I would hate to get stuck in a situation. I'd hate to get stuck in a situation where we ran out of gas. And I've been in plenty of those situations in real life. And it's never fun. Never fun. I once had to drive all the way from Las Vegas to Portland, Oregon. Which is about an 850 mile journey. And uh, let me tell you. For large stretches of that journey, there's no gas stations, guys. And when it's 2 in the morning, and it's like 0 degrees outside, that's terrifying. I remember there was a destroyed bridge in Starovo. It crossed all the way from Hungary. But no one could use it. I wonder if they ever rebuilt that. I heard they built a bridge that crosses the entire Bosphorus. What a sight that must be. Turkey must be so different now. So it seems that we're taking a different route now because, obviously, we picked a different route. And uh, my engine's starting to smoke. That can't be good. I wonder what that's all about. Hopefully we end up getting to a hotel before things get too bad. There we go. We got there. Can we get to a petrol station if we turn off here? Oh! Ah! That's a good question. You gotta, you gotta give me the old heads up sooner, old man, with the snazzy jacket. It would be a good idea to stop for fuel. I guess... She, okay. Good God. Could this off-ramp be any tighter? Come on. Don't hit the edges. Okay, there's there's the petrol station. Now we got to cruise in here. And it looks like my engine is smoking. So we need to figure out what the hell's going on there. Okay. Bam. We're stopped. Engine's off. Open the door. Now let's go take a look under the hood. What is happening under the hood? Ah, I keep forgetting. I have to actually pop the trunk. Now this is one clever driving sim. Like, it really pulls out no stops. Like, you have to pull the lever to open the bonnet. Okay, what? It, what is... It's that damn elf air filter again. It's... Air filter is smoking, as is the carburetor. What is going on with that? I, I wonder why that's happening. There we go. I'm going to get my toolbox. We'll repair these one more time. Give you a crank. There you go. You're, you're, you're good. So the air filter... Though it's not... Oh, wait. Maybe it's not the air filter that's messed up. Maybe it's just the engine. There we go. Up oh, there goes my toolbox. Damn it. I've been tweaking on this air filter, thinking that it was the air filter that was bad when it was the engine this entire time. I wonder if there wasn't enough oil in the mixture. That could very well be, huh? Okay, I'm gonna fill her up. Wait, why is that gate closing? Is that to ensure that I pay? Is that what's happening there? That's foreboding. But I filled it up with regular petrol. And I'm going to need oil, aren't I? So let's go in here. See if there's any oil. Hey there! You look a little lost. Just pick whatever you need off the shelves and place it through this window. And when you have everything you need, you can pay by using your wallet. Alright, sounds good. Um, what do we got here? We've got... What is this? Some kind of medicine. No, I don't need that. What I need is oil. Do you sell oil? I, I have no idea what this is. What is this? 
Coffee, okay. Um, looks like cigarettes as well. No, I, I don't smoke. That's gross. Uh, seriously, you don't have oil? I need oil, man. You're gonna ruin my car. With, uh, without oil. Unless this already has a mixture for me, but I, I seriously doubt that. I feel like I should have brought a bottle of oil now. Well, let's see. My wallet. I think my wallet is in the car. A glove compartment? There we go. Wallet. Let's go pay for this gas. Lest this guy keep me locked in here all night. Guten Morgen. It was a girl, actually. I said it was a guy. Okay. Now I... That was $4, apparently. You can pull that lever to cancel the transaction. No, no, no. It's cool. I, I need that gas. Let's do it. Into the car. Put my wallet back. All right. We're back on the road. Oh, God. Not without closing the, the bonnet. Close the bonnet, man. And as I close the bonnet, I'm going to say, guys... This is probably going to be the end of this first episode of Jalopy. Uh, how are you guys liking this? Are you guys enjoying Jalopy? I hope you are, because if you are, I will play more. Uh, and if you are enjoying it, let me know by giving us a like, favorite, sharing, and subscribing, guys. And uh, I probably will play one or two more episodes of this. And probably play it for the rest of this week. Get a gauge whether you guys are digging it or not. Oh, it's very dark. Turn on those lights. So, until then, guys, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys are liking Jalopy, and come back next time when we'll be playing a little bit more, and I'll see you guys then. Oh, oof!